Without that rage here And then the cloud of doubt may 
Under the blood. Yeah. See. We've been there when the going got rough. And we wondered if we ever could win. Cause every time we tried to look up, now we've been tripping over our own chin.
for Jesus, your King. There's power in the blood, power in the blood. Now would you live daily His praises to sing? There's wonderful power in the blood. There is power, power, wonderful King. In the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonderful King. Now in the precious blood of the Lamb. Well, there is power, power, wonderful King. In the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonderful King. Now in the precious blood of the Lamb. Yes, in the precious. Wonderful power in the blood. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. He is so worthy. He's so worthy.
that God has done for us. Well, you know, how oh, we should be so grateful and so excited yes. and to know what he can Thank do you. for us also. Amen. You know, I mean, yes, I, 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 I feel the same way. I'm, I'm just so thankful yeah. for God. I'm just so glad to be here and for everything he's done, everything he's going to do, everything he can do, everything he will do, everything we don't know about. Thank you, I, I just, I just thank him and I praise him for that. Amen. 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 Five years. John was praying and asking, and no answer until last night. Just like that. So, so he's got a reason to shout. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord, you are worthy. You're so worthy of our praise, Father. Thank you. You are so worthy, Father. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Come on, brother. Go. Good. That's right. I believe the whale has reached the beach. Yeah. And he started spitting them out. That's right. Oh, glory be to God. He started spitting them out the more. I didn't know there were so many of us in one with one field. But there's some more a setting, and he's a fixing to spew them out. And when they hit the bank, they're going to have to start running because they got a job to do. God is fixing to wipe this thing out, 
And until we make up our mind what we're going to do, we're going to come out of the belly of the well and we're going to do what God told us to do. And I'm going to tell you, if we don't do what God tells us to do, we're going to die in the fish and we're going to go to hell with it. The dream is back. You don't know what that means. Big old fish. The dream is back. Oh. You call him for something, I'll tell you. Praise God. God's, God's, yeah. When God tells you something, when he pulls something inside of you, when he instills something inside of you, nobody can steal it. That's right. Nobody can take it. When God says you're going to be, when God says you're going to do something, when you're going to be something, you may not understand when, you may not understand why. I've been preaching because, see, that's what I preach to myself. When I preach up here, I preach to me. You just get to hear it. That's all it is. That's all it is. Put the pieces together. You'll, you'll start to figure me out. I ain't trying to be prideful. I'm not trying to be, I'm just saying I'm happy. I'm happy. Do you understand what happiness is? It's a fleeting emotion, but there's joy. Oh, baby. I tell you what, joy is flowing over. I'm drinking from the saucer. Hallelujah. You have no idea. The chain that seems like it's been around me. Oh, my goodness. Lord, help me. People, I don't know what you're struggling with. I don't know what's got you down. But, but God's too good to be sitting on our lows just going, oh, poor old me. I'm telling you what, that was me for a while. I've been there. God will set you free. You won't know when. You won't understand why. You don't understand why now, baby. I sat right here for days, days, days. A couple days here, it seems like. Saying the same prayer. Oh. And over and over for 25 years I've prayed a prayer do you realize I'm almost 50 that's half my life do you understand that and when God says last night I was here crying Lord help me show me and tell me and I was tearing up so bad snot was running down faster than the tears Man threw a napkin in my face and it just stuck to my head. And all of a sudden, it's like a bolt of lightning hit. Bam! It's like I woke up and stood up and I was a new man. God said, it's what you need. He's done that twice in my life. That's the second time. All the answers you ever had. I'm not trying to brag. I'm just trying to brag on God. I'm just trying to give him glory in this point. I'm trying to say it's all about him. I didn't understand the times, but I now do because I had to go through some things. See, that's why I preached on the fire last time. I knew I was going through some things. And I knew when I got through the fire, you know, he says, though I walk through the valley of the shadow, though I walk through, you know, I'm going through the valley of the shadow. He's still with me. He's still there. I don't feel his presence. I never heard him. He was a silent God. Did you hear me say that last week? The silent God. Here you go. God, why are you silent? He said, I'm putting you through some things. Woo! I'm putting you through so you'll get ready for the next place. Oh, man. I'm purifying you like gold so you'll be ready for the next adventure. Oh, I'm ready now. I get it now. I understand it now. Where I once didn't, I was ignorant. Let's get real. I don't know everything God's got up his sleeve for me. I don't claim to know. But what I do claim to know is he knows. He's the God that holds tomorrow in the palm of his hand. He's the man that put a post and held up the sun. He spoke things into existence and he said, it's time. Stand. That's what he told me. It's time. I need you to stand. You see, we got to stand for something. 
Oh, did you hear me preach that a few weeks ago? You got to stand for something. You got to stand. You got to understand when you stand, things are going to come at you. Oh, they've been coming at me hard, of course. One after another, nonstop, to the point where it breaks you down. You say, why me, Lord? I don't understand why I have to go to the altar and cry my eyes out day after day. I drive to work crying every day. In my time of need, I cry. And he says, nothing. Complete silence for years. Last night he says, stand. Just as clear as a bell. Stand. Oh, it's on. I got tired and tired. Sick and tired of being sick and tired. That's what I said. Just what Jimmy said. When, you, when you've done all you can do, just keep standing. Well, maybe you need to stand. Because if you don't, you'll fall for anything. Woo! Power in the name of Jesus. I said there's power in the name of Jesus to raise dead man bones that are sitting at an altar. Man told me that. He said, you know what that means? I said, well, not really, but I do know now. I didn't sleep at all last night because this was so on my mind. I just had it going over and over. God is good. God is good. God is good. God is good. He can't keep me down because God is good. God is so good. Cancer, God is good. Heart disease, God is good. All these afflictions that have been happening to you, God is still good. Family hates you, God's still good. Everything that you've been going through, God is still good. You know he's good. Why do you question it? Why do we question that God is good? Do we not know that God is good? Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. God is good all the time. I just want to jump and shout and say hallelujah to the Lamb of God. I can't take it anymore. I can't sit still anymore. I don't know what it is about it, but God is good. I've seen the glory. I felt his presence. He touched me. Me. Of all the people in this world, he can touch you too. Oh, Lord, help me. Help me say, Lord, he's good. I can't help it. I can't help praise him but who he is. I praise him for what he's done, but I tell you what, change the corner and said, I praise you just for who you are. I know you're able. But even if not, Lord, I'm still gonna praise you. I'm still gonna praise you when I don't know what's going on. I'm still gonna praise you. I believe you. I know you can deliver me. I know you have it right now, but I know you can. I will not bow down and I will not compromise. I'll walk through the fire if that's what it takes. If that's what you want me to do, Lord, that's what I'll do. That's all I've ever wanted to do. It's been me getting in the way. It's been pride getting in the way. Self getting in the way. Mind getting in the way. Oh, Lord, help me to die myself. Help me to just die to myself. That's what I've been praying You got to die to yourself to get, oh, you want more power? Man, I want more power. I want to touch the mark and him just heal and jump out of his jaws. I want to know that God's with me. My unbelief, it's got to go, Jackie. It's got to go. It's got to go. My unbelief has got to leave. It ain't got no life in me. It's got to die. Everything about unbelief has got to die. You got to, we got to do something, church. We got to stand up. This sitting down's got to go. If we ain't getting busy, we're dying. Busy, being under Satan's yoke. Flip it, salvation joke. My burden is light. My yoke is easy. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Do you understand what he's saying to us? He's speaking through me to tell you to get up. Praise him for who he is. Praise him for not just what he does. God. Oh. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. God is real. No man can take it from me. What he's, oh, hallelujah. No man can deceive me again. Never. It's too real now. 
It was real the first time. It was real the three, third time. I'm all in, boys and girls. I'm all in. I'm all in. You better get out of my way. If you can't keep up with this boy, you need to get out of my way. I'm taking people with me. And people coming with me. And if you ain't ready, God says, get out of his way. This boy's on fire. This boy's on fire. This boy is on fire for God. I ain't going to slow down. I ain't going to stop. I ain't going to slow it down. All I'm going to do is be the man I'm supposed to be. And God called me to do something. The dream's back, ladies and gentlemen. Your dream is back. Amen. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Father. Yes, Lord, we bless you, we praise you, we thank you, thank you. Yes, Lord. Mm. 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. That's it. That's it. That's it, brother. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Sure is. Amen. Honor and a privilege. That's right. Mm-hmm. These walls are holding you back. Mm-hmm. Hold me back no more. I promise you that. Praise the Lord. Can I read? This, can I read this, Brother Joe? Go ahead. It's uh, it's been on my heart for the last three or four weeks. I, mean, I was talking to Brother Carl about it, but it's Luke 19, 38, 39, and forty. It says, saying, "Blessed it be the King that cometh in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven, and glory in the highest." And some of the Pharisees from among the multitude said unto him, Master, rebuke thy disciples. They had been a little noisy. And he answered and said unto them, I tell you that if these should hold their peace, the stones would immediately cry out. Mommy just said that. So uh, I don't want no rock replacing me. Absolutely. Absolutely. Amen. Amen. So you never know what you get around here. And that when Jesus died on that cross, we have the authority. But I think some of us are afraid to say, I have that authority. Mm-hmm. I need to open my mouth. I need to be bold. Mm-hmm. And I am loved so much. I'm a child of the king. And if you don't believe it, you can't get it from just your words. Keep saying it and saying it and saying it until it starts to make that change in you. Because we are his children, and he doesn't give us bad things. Right. He loves us. We yes. wouldn't, I would not do anything to Sandy to hurt her in any fashion, any form. That's the same way. We are loved by God. We are his children. And he has gifts for us. And he has promises. And we just have to take them. Acknowledge that we have that in us. That Holy Spirit lives in us. We have that authority Mm. through Jesus Christ. That's right. Amen. 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 That's absolutely true. Amen. Amen. And the word backs it up. This was an unusual service because... It started with Russ, Lord speaking, maybe to more than one. This is this is a word for you tonight. This is a word in season. This is a word like a right now word for somebody or or several people. And the reason I say that is because, as John said, the as the word plainly it says, we need to wait upon the Lord. Now it's human nature to question. Why so long? He's been praying for 25 years. It's, it's human nature to question saying, I don't understand and I don't know why and I, I, don't, I, don't, I just don't get it and Lord, you've left me. You're not hearing me. You're, you know, you can come up with all these things. 
But the Bible plainly says, if we wait upon the Lord, we shall renew our strength as the eagle. As the eagle. But the scripture that jumped out to me when both of you, when you said and you said was, don't be weary in well-doing, for you shall reap if we faint not. So that tells us that that pressing has to go. You still have to press. And here, 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 to me, here's the key. And if we wait upon the Lord, it's again, it's okay to say, Lord, I don't understand why. But there's a point when you've got to say, okay, Lord, I just accept you. I accept what you're doing. I, I, even though I don't feel like you're doing anything, I f- accept you for what you, who you are and what you're going to do. And I'm going to wait upon you because here, here's the key. If you don't do it that way, if you don't do it that way, what will happen is you'll question God to the point where you'll start bitter, bitterness will enter in and bitterness turns to unbelief and bitterness turns to unforgiveness. I'm supposed to tell this or not, and I am not a singer. But it's, uh, I heard this at 1:31 in the morning, uh, Tuesday morning. Mm-hmm. God's own son will be the leading one and the leading in the air. Uh, That's right. I don't know. I, I forgot part of it, but mm-hmm. anyway, well, I don't know where the Lord wanted me to tell this or not. But I heard that at 1:31 in the morning. In the morning. Mm-hmm. This actually this morning. Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning. Okay. Okay. 131. So there'll be a meeting in there. Amen. Amen. So there's 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 been all kinds of messages tonight. There's been all kinds of words that's flowed forward, and I think they came from the Lord. And if uh, if we just receive it and re- receive what the Lord has and what He said tonight, uh, it, it, it was a praise and worship. And it, see, God inhabits our praise. When we start our when we start praise, he can't resist. That's something he does not resist and can't resist because he, he will inhabit our praise. And that's that's where it starts. And when we start the praise, then then he he, he operates through our praise and through our worship. Amen. All right, let me say this. There, there's no way that uh, me or anybody else really can add to what the Lord's done tonight. He's already done. He gets all the glory because he, he did it all. Let me ask this. Is there anybody here tonight that does not know Jesus Christ as their Savior? Anyone at all that, that don't know Jesus that would like to meet him tonight, that would like to receive Jesus Christ as your Savior? We'll pray with you. We'll, we'll stand. We'll, we'll kneel. We'll cry. We'll do what we need to do calling unto the Lord. On your behalf, if, if there, is there somebody here that that maybe had known Jesus to a point, and we refer to it as backsliding, or you're not where you should be with the Lord, this would be a great opportunity to be restored. Be re- because just like the prodigal son, the father's back there; he's waiting for you. All you have to do is turn and and, and go to him, where the father's house is. If there's anybody like that, we'll pray with you. We'll kneel with you, whatever it takes, okay? All right, I just want to make sure because it's, uh, we want to make sure we give everybody an opportunity to pray, all right? Okay. All right. Tell you what, let's do this tonight. Let me, let me, let me think. Okay, let's do it this way. This is, not, this is not what you call your usual service, so we're going to do something just out of the ordinary. Uh, instead of calling prayer time, we're going to stand and pray. And what I'd like for everybody to do, if you can and will, stand. But take somebody's hand next to you. Find, just find somebody. If there's one person sitting in the aisle, take, a, take and, and hold their hand. Because here's what we want to do. We, we want to pray for unity. We want to pray for direct guidance and a binding of the servants. Okay? We, we need him to bind us together closer than we've ever been. Closer than we've ever been. Amen? 
And that's what I want us to pray. In one mind and one accord and come into an agreement, okay? Let's pray. Gracious Father, as we come before you tonight, we thank you so much, Lord, for meeting with us. Lord, we thank you for your word. We thank you for what Brother Russ said, what Brother John said tonight, for using them, Lord, to minister. You know that there was not just one, I believe. I believe there was more out there that needed the word that was spoken tonight. That we're to wait upon you. We're to listen for you. And Lord, sometimes we know that you don't directly speak. Sometimes we think that, you know, you're not talking with us or you're not ministering to us. But Lord, we know that you're right there. And Father, we thank you, Lord, that the answer's coming. If it's not here yet, it's coming. The answer will be here. And as, as your servant Daniel prayed, and, and it was a 21 days, and, and the angel that came and said, told Daniel, your servant said, I heard you from the first day, and Lord, we know you hear us when we pray. And Father, we thank you, Lord, for ministering. Thank you, Lord, for encamping angels about us to watch over us and keep us. And at the appointed time, Lord, we thank you that you have a time and you have a season. It may not be ours. It may not be like what we expect or what we want. But Lord, we know that you will do things in your timing and in your season, Father. We thank you, Lord. We praise you, Lord, for what you've done and what you're going to do. In the name that is above every name, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise His holy name. Praise His holy name. What a lovely name. The name of Jesus. Well... We do have something a little more to do. Just a little bit more to do. But it's not here in the sanctuary. It's at the fellowship hall. Because uh, somebody, I don't know, I can't remember who it is, it's somebody's birthday. So, and somebody's anniversary. So some people have planned a little something in the fellowship hall next door. So, and I think she's over there waiting on us to get there. So, you need to pray? Okay. Mommy asked me to stand. 